Hey, welcome Virgo. It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Welcome to the channel. So guys, it's time for February 2021 Wealth and Abundance Tarot card readings. And the deck that has been selected by my team in spirit for you is the Tarot of Dreams. And I think it's very appropriate, you know, to make your dreams come true. Um, so, and I think almost everybody I know has a dream of manifesting more money, more wealth and abundance, and keeping in mind that abundance is not always about money. So um, <clears throat> my dog might start snoring. So if you hear something <laughs> off to the side of me here, just keep that in mind. So anyway, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And of course, any Virgo cross watchers. And this is going to be a general reading, you guys. Um, you know, if it's not resonating, feel free to check out your moon sign or, you know, whatever else you got going on out there. So anyway, I'm going to also draw a Romance Angel Oracle card for you at the end of the reading because it's February. And uh, I was also guided to bring that deck into the read. So... Uh, I'm just going to start pulling cards, you guys, because sometimes I have the worst introduction pattern. So let's just move on with some cards and I'll start pulling them right away. So, okay, so the first card we've got is the Three of Swords. So this can be a bit of a challenging card for you guys right off the hop. Um, <clears throat> this speaks of a pain that you carry around you. It could change the way you externalize your emotions. It's a very telling card right away. Um, like, a, why is this coming in on your wealth and abundance reading? What are you in pain about? What is, this is going to be a block for you because it's a low energy. If you look at the scale of energy, love is at the top and hate is at the bottom. So if you've got some sort of fear or aggression, anger, it's going to be a manifestation block for you. Okay, so, and and this character, she looks, she looks quite surly, but then you, if you look really closely at her for a minute, you can see that there's pain behind it. So there's an emotion behind whatever it is that you're presenting to the world. And the law of attraction reacts to your emotional state, okay? So let's dig a little bit deeper into that to try and pry the lid off of it for you, Virgo. I mean, you've got the seven of coins here, so things can't be all that bad. There's things that you're considering to plant seeds for your future. That's what this card is all about. I was looking for something more eloquent to say, but it was just not coming. So seven of coins. This is planting the seeds, moving forward, but it's like there's a part of you that is holding you back and maybe not believing in you 100%. Um, and everybody does that, you guys. So you might be being a little bit hard on yourself and letting that inner saboteur. RuPaul talks about the inner saboteur a lot. And I love the way that um, he discusses that. Like you're stronger than your inner saboteur. And I, I really see that your inner saboteur is sort of your external saboteur right now. And then you, like really beautiful... <clears throat> warm loving Virgo is sort of underneath trying to you know tap your way out and then your dreams are being sort of clouded by the now external saboteur um and it's so interesting because you have this really really hard shelled like shield made in here and then on the inside there's this you know puppy hugging you know, just really outdoor, lovely energy. And it, it's like being eclipsed somehow. So let's get you back out into the sunshine, Virgo, so you can shine a light onto your wildest dreams here. So you have the Page of Cups. So this is very interesting. The Page of Cups is generally a message from your inner child coming in for you. Um... There could be some sort of unresolved pain, probably around money, 
uh, if you grew up with no money or if there was money but you weren't able to access it, like your parents just always said, well, we can't afford that, you know what I mean? Um, there's something definitely going on here for you that it looks like it's time to either forgive somebody and let them off the hook, not care anymore, forgive them for yourself, um, so that you can really switch those roles around so that your, your beauty can be on the inside and your pain can be dissolved. You could also have the benefit of a water sign coming in to help you. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio to help you resolve this. And for some of you, I get the really strong feeling that is going to be a parent or a sibling that can come in and resolve any sort of money story that you were told. Um, my parents were really weird about money. They just didn't believe that there was any. And I, I don't understand it, you know, because there was like both sets of my grandparents they were quite affluent so i don't know where the money story the tap got shut off you know is something happened in there and you know it's time for you to turn the tap back on right and your inner child probably has a secret for you there's tons of inner child healing um Meditations, Kenneth Suarez does a really good one. His last name is S-O-U-R-A-S. I was just um, given the information that you might wanna check out mudras. There are some mudras, like maybe search on Google if there's such thing as um, inner like aura healing mudras. Actually, I know there are, but there might be something for an inner child. I've never actually looked for one. I do one for my thyroid. I found a mudra that is supposed to help the thyroid heal itself. So you never know. There's something, um, and definitely try Qigong to help release this pain that is trapped in your organs and your, your blood. And in some cases in your bones, you know, you might not even be aware of it, but the longer it festers, the more it comes to the surface. And I'm seeing here where it's like totally uh, about to take you over instead of this really beautiful energy with the seven of coins where you just all you want to do is take care of yourself and other people and you know maybe grow some vegetables while you're nurturing your abundance you know so <clears throat> time to take affirmative action on that and I'll pull one more card here for you guys okay this is such a beautiful card for you guys to remember. It doesn't matter what money story you were told. That story belongs to somebody else. And unfortunately, um, you were the audience. So you grew up believing that, you know. Maybe somebody told you that you don't deserve money. Or maybe that only bad people have money. You know, I saw, I was cruising, um like looking for something to watch yesterday. And there was this program called Filthy Rich. So there's this tag already that's like filthy and then rich. So it's a bit of a dichotomy, you know, where people say money is dirty. It's not really. It, it can be the people associated with it that, that change it. So your money story needs to be reversed because you guys are the magician here. You guys are the magician. You know, you can create anything that you want. It doesn't matter. You got the infinity symbol down in here. You got a very powerful magician. This is you guys, you know. And when you start to sort of distance the shield maiden or calm her back down and, you know, tell her that everything is going to be okay and all those wounds they were just part of growing up i would definitely say that this happened in the age age range like before 10 years old you know because you've got the page of cups and there's something that happened in your childhood but the seven of coins and the magician there's there's such a turnaround ability here for you guys so when you think of money, this could be a really good exercise for you guys to do after the reading. Like, what do you think? When, like, when you think of a really rich person, what do you think? And just go write that down. You know, do a word association for yourself. 
and then start training your brain to think something else, you know, because you don't want to be associated as a good person um, with dirty or filthy or spoiled or, you know, all those negative connotations. And you might want to start looking up who's really nice as a rich person. And you can think about Oprah Winfrey right away, you know. <clears throat> The stuff that she does and really start to change your dialogue and I really want to recommend doing an inner child healing for you and any sort of mudra or if you want to do the Tai Chi yoga uh, Qigong to help dispense that energy and bring in new energy for you it does like wonders um, maybe try a chakra balancing meditation or whatever Wow, okay, I hope you guys really saw me shuffling the deck. And, okay, this card is just blowing my mind because what I was just talking about. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So there is something that needs to be done here for you. And abundance is love in action, okay? So there is definitely some sort of forgiveness or you can let somebody off the hook or you can just see things from a different perspective. It's going to change everything in your life. So gave you a couple homework assignments there for you, Virgo. So very interesting cards for you in this. This Romance Angel card that I pulled for you guys is absolutely blowing my mind. I can't believe how well it connected to the reading I just did for you. But anyway, guys, take care of yourselves and namaste. Bye for now. Bye.